this time, keep in mind also, there's no kits. Yes, indeed. And no smoke. Zippix can just be patient. And let noise reveal all. Oh, is he gonna be spotted though? So he didn't see it. He didn't realize. His own gun, I think, blocked the vision, and now Zippix knows that they're working in. One above. Oh, he's the lamb, and ends the slaughter, because it's Zippix that's gonna hold it off! Oh. Though, look like he could have had the follow up, but that's not going to be possible. Rain will get a kill on Glaive as well, and that leaves Sip and Device kind of weirdly boxed in. They're going to get a kill on Olaf, and he's going to get Molotov off, but that's fine. Nico is still hot on the on the pursuit here, going to be heading towards the A bomb site, and now Sip goes for the fight. Immediate shutdown and falls back. He knows Rain is up there. Could the Norwegian do it again? He's waiting, but Sip, of course, with the clutch in the pistol round. First Liberty, he gets flashed, but doesn't fall off. He's still here. Oh man, and now they're so ready for this. Device is gonna take all the attention away. Zipex runs in from ramp. Oh, and he's gonna stop that plant. Nothing more for Nip. Shut down on all fronts, and Zipex even goes one better, denying Forrest any entry. Plopsky in a 1v4. I won't reach him, but it'll definitely make him feel a bit awkward. More so when they actually wide swing like that. Oh my word! Oh, Zipnix! What is that? That is just ridiculous! Is that going to be a blessing or a curse for aristocracy, though? As this push comes in, they have flashed the vice on the angle. Oh. He's going to miss that shot on the repeat. They've got the entry. They've just got to get past Zipnix. But sometimes that's easier said than done, because he shut down three. The nade going to find so oh. much damage on Dia. He's fully blind, still able to get matches, but Zipnix on for the ace. Is the eagle a thing of legends? We know how good Dia is with the D. Zipnik's lucky enough, able to get that one traded out before it can become too much of a problem. There was a gap in that smoke. I mean, not even really, just shooting on the edge of it. You can barely see through that. Zipnik's will get the plant this time. Confident that he wouldn't get peaked, and he will after, but getting away with that frag and into the one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to wrap back towards the door. He doubles back. The windows are broken, and Taz knows that he can creep his way through. Zipnik's, oh, he's read this one like a book. He's tucked in the corner. But does he catch the timing? Can't afford to look away. And that's the round for Zipnik's. So good in his clutches. Calm, cool, collected. He seems to be aware, though. Seems to know the Draken is there. Moving over towards the IV position is Draken. Get right, take the device down in the meantime. Zipnix has the info, but can he get around the corner in time? Does he have the info? Sees nothing at old bomb. Does he consider IV position? Here he comes, the dragon, hunting for his prey. AWP, not the most ideal weapon for this clutch against Zipex. It looks like he is out positioned him perfectly, checking every nook and cranny, but he is running out of time, has to start making noise, and Zipex can't believe his luck. Oh! He won't win the round, but that's a hell of a shot. He saves the orb once again. Got the deathmatch mode now as Glaive plays around the smoke. Nice kills coming in from NIP, but again, Glaive playing around the smoke, but Zipex full. Good kill. Oh, so close. I thought he was going to get the double kill potentially as well of the HE. That would have been oh, wild. Oh, no. That would have been too I much. I really would have enjoyed it. But they still have a good chance here. But the HP so low against one of the smartest minds in all of Counter-Strike. He actually is heading towards Ivy as well. He's coming for you. He knows what you're up to. And as he holds towards Hell, he couldn't be positioned better. If he waits for them here, he is a god. He's actually nailed it. I can't believe it. How does he do it every time? I don't even know. Like he, he's either cheating or he's the world's smartest man. It's insane. <laughs> like, what I would like to see throughout this map and just throughout the first few days of Cloud9 as well is to see whether or not Cajun B can can continue with his clutch performances. You know, he's a very he's a very clutch player. And Zipex, I mean, he very, very easily could have dropped down Golden, but didn't quite finish off his kill. Imagine had he done so. You've got Rush planting the bomb on just as little HP. This bomb site could have been so easily cleared, but <laughs> it still could be. He knows Golden's there based on the reload, and Zipex has now got himself into the bomb site. Three kills and a bomb to get on top of. He's going to pull the goose egg. And oh, automatic. Oh, Automatic's not going to go gonna for this. A tap. Of wow. course. A 10 second stick. Of course, Zipex pulls this out of nowhere.
Oh, Automatic <laughs> comes in right at the last second, but it's not enough time for the safe plant. I'm not sure if Automatic knew it was safe planted. He was playing all the way around the corner. The ramp rush, I think that's the call. Get in here quick, and it's going to get dicey for Zipmix. Zipmix mowing him down. There's a triple, quad, and looking for the fifth. He gets the ace. That's it. There it is. There it is. Now, not a great buy here for Ghost. Looks like they want to just explode forwards, but again, over the top of the smoke, the flashbang comes in. That's pretty nice. That's, that's a diss and a half. Oh, the cover is there in time. And Glavy will get out of there. That's, I feel, I feel like Ghost had that one, but it just, they just keep losing <laughs> players. They keep trying to chase it. Getting a couple kills would absolutely be pretty meaningful here if they could start to whittle away that economy and let's see if they can do it. Maybe even get a plan if they can get some entries here, but their lineup is not going to favor them whatsoever. It's going to be a rush here towards the B bomb site. Esperanto boosted up, but he goes down very quickly. Hunter comes through, only able to get the one kill. Nexa, though, with a great lineup, leaving Sip alone in a one versus two. And, well, he's just a player for it. Yeah, he really is. He was amazing yesterday. The clutch is keeping Astralis in the games. And another one versus two, reloading. He spots the shoulder, and he doesn't bail out of the fight. Baits out the shot. Zipnix commits. He's got the headshot, and he's got it through the smoke. No idea. And a fourth round for Astralis. Pretty close to him. I'm actually now a little bit scared. JW on the other side. If he misses a shot, that's the bomb that's going to go down. Sip is waiting for it. He could shoot under the train, but he's going to go for it. Now running out. Is he going to be able to catch him? He's waiting for it. And instead of overextending, he's going to see if he can flash his way into this one. He knows that twist must be down there. Oh, the jump. And that's almost it. He gets the shot on JW. I can't believe he's still alive now. Up on top, hunting him down. And the Molotov burning him away. Sip now in a one-on-one. -on -one. Down on the bomb, and he's going to tap it and just hold it down. He, he's gambling on it. He's holding it all the way. It's twist. He's going to be so... Oh, oh, God, he's too late. One versus three. <laughs> Look at that cheeky little smile. Defend, he's repositioning as well. This is getting really awkward here for Sharks, as that repositioning may have been just a beautiful stroke of genius there. Zipex down the 1v1, and of course, he's able to do it. Zipex, always reliable, and that's going to be it. Bomb is in the hands of Zipex. So it's a five on two. It's now a three on two. As Zipix gets nothing pushing through from the ramp as well. No Shazam wants to come back in from that angle, but has to get off because Dupree gets in a battle. Zipix can control the peak. One on two. Finds Duke. Def walking in already. They had no idea that he'd actually rotated back into the hut. And he just plays the bomb at this point. A five on two. And with one shot, Zipix finds 11. And uh, wow, okay, Glaive. That's ambitious. And it all works out for him. Now, with the AWP in the hands of Zipex, who knows what he can do? A lot of work, it seems. That's not bad. He threw the shotgun towards main entrance. He's hoping that show from Zipex will potentially yield him a frag. Stannis thought towards heaven, though. And Zipex. Oh my. On for another kill. Dude, he's got, he did damage. You said four in 2018. He's got two this round. That was me plucking out. Yeah, yeah I can't right. remember what it was. But I was it was say, four like, sounds ridiculous. It, it, that's the, the point I was making. I didn't think we'd ever analyze it. But well, I should he did. take it back. Foot and mouth. He's got three this <laughs> round. He's a superstar. He's going to double his total of 2018. Right here, right now. Oh and my. He's done it. Oh he's God. got four already. <laughs> so funny you said that number. And that's what he gets in one round on the off after we just said he never offs. Here we are, round number nine going live after the tech timeout. Cirque in the flames, gonna be forced in. Oh, and that is actually just, Zipnix just sidesteps at the perfect moment. Next to drop, Ethan playing this position so incredibly well. Sip in a one versus four. Astralis, they get, they get what they want, but they just can't complete the rounds. Yeah, they got what they wanted, they just didn't like what came afterwards. Santa's Law, just waiting. And Zipnix has picked up the bomb, but he's got nowhere to go. There's no escape route to that upper bomb site. He'll try and work his way around 37 seconds. Good win for Zipnix. Three kills. The clutch minister would have to get an ace clutch to get Astralis their second. And Breeze is going to oblige him. He just walks out to the open. They're gifting him these. And Zipnix might just do it again. Spots the shoulder. That's a huge win. That's what they needed. And Zipnix is the one to deliver it again and again and again. They've read this already. The scout is up here. They can't make If they can't make it past, they're done. There's a shot bringing out. Can he make it through? Sip down on the low ground. The bomb, it will be planted. Oh. And he no scopes him right through. It's all on Ethan. Oh my god. He's back around the corner and smoked off. But to his advantage, they have no armor and just the scouts on the other side. He might have, well have a chance. They don't have a kit either. This is actually looking winnable. There's one tag through as he sprays a little bit too much. And now they're on the bomb. They have to hold it down. Ethan, it's all on you right now. He tries to guess the angle. It's a long time and sit with the head gun. Oh, no!
Hunting for more Glaive spots one. He wants to finish off that kill, and he's going to get it. Awkward fight for Legro, and now Get Right gets caught by Zipnix. But it's a tough angle. Glaive's not looking. Big time frag for Rez. And A is available. It's going to come down to the Clutch Meister himself. Mr. Zipnix, what can he get done? He's already put down one frag. 25 seconds to go, but Forrest counteracts with one of his own. It's all down to the clutcher. He's picked up another one. And now it's up to Rez to try and clutch this one on one. The Swede against the Dane. Zipnik's gonna be coming around the corner, finds him with his pants down around his ankles, but unable to get the kill the first time. Ask Gamer gets it on the second. And Astralis with a 4K from Zipnik's gonna get the 3-0 lead. 25 seconds and no one has spotted what's coming. Here we go, it's all on Zipnix and Device. Zipnix with the orb, Taylor Maid is gonna be getting three with a spray. Single-handedly stops the push. He'll be taken down here. Finally, an opening pick for FaZe. They normally convert these. Five versus four, but they just don't have the firepower right now. Zipnix certainly does. There's no spacing again now. Why is one player committing to the corner? No one's there with Broke, him. You can't even access to all the short position here. They have to wait. Second time they've used that. That's the same one they used on Nico. It covers both short and mid. And it lets them do this. Oh! Get position, set them up, and knock them down. <laughs> Which prevents them from seeing if someone's actually moved into side alley. So it is just like huge pressure, as you say. It forces them to use utility. Here comes another check from Madisk. Oh my god, almost abandoned ship. Zipnix is delivering that smoke again. Give them that gap for the third kill. Five versus two, and it's just devastating. Zipex looking for the, uh, the ace now. But he has the perfect weapon to at least catch a bullet. No, Dupree's the one to find him. Two more required. Is this really the last round of play on Dust 2? Oh. Zipex coming from behind. It's <laughs> glorious. He's right there behind him when he needs to be. What comes down to timing? Dupree in a good angle. He should be good for one kill here, but realistically wants more. But Nico expected oh it. Three fights for the Mac 10, but Zipex oh. got the timing. Three kills. That is unbelievable from Zipex. They are really doing it, aren't they? 37 seconds breeze now moving closer. Magus got oh, he's gonna win the fight somehow anyway. The stand coming out, they line up for him and he gets the one kill, but not the second. And now Sip very low on health. So coming in with the AWP, that smoke is gonna make things really rough, but surely they know how low he is. Sip right now, he's got the perfect idea. He's got it all lined up and he's gonna get it. Another clutch coming in from Sip. A 15th round on the board for Astralis. You and P long range though. It's a little bit awkward, Cajun. Now I'm gonna win the fight instead. Oh my god, that's... Yeah, anything else, right? But it's always Zipnix, and here's the CZ out. For the range, he's got him over the smoke. Now into the bomb site, gearing over the top, and a great headshot from Zipnix. He wins it anyways, and plenty of time even without the kit. So that means Naf was uh, unknown, and so that's a brilliant play for Naf to make with the element of surprise, and he spots the next one. Oh, he goes for a quick flick from behind the smoke, but he'll go down to the spray. Zipex, maybe. Footsteps will be heard by Stewie. Pulls that AWP. Surely he's going to snap and flick. Glaive has no idea. Trigger discipline takes him out straight away. Now Zipex is somehow going to get one versus one. A smoke is going to be up. He knows. Does he know Nitro's in CT spot? I think he does. Nitro creeping, 12 seconds to plant a bomb. Zipex has to buy some time. He's got some sound cues. If Nitro goes for it, he's got to respect the Molotov. Bad plant is secured. Sipex knows Nitro can only be behind these flames. Through the smoke, he's gonna creep around the corner, but no. So close, just to a third round, but denied. Just taking liberties and really probing, and now Apex, this is such a strong spot, especially now that kill is there, but he mistimed it. A very slow peek, and Zywu had a chance to add one more on top of it. That's Glaive, who's lucky to be alive. Zywu close there to RPK, missing the opportunity to pre, and he's gonna be going down, and now it's on Sip. He survives the first shot of Saiwu, but is he gonna get a second chance here? He's done some damage already, and finally he'll hunt him down, picking up another M4, and he's gonna go straight for it. Surely just gonna hold it down. RPK, he's gonna be way too slow on this one, and that will be 16 to 5 here. Three versus two, in fact. And there is a flank coming in. Dupree's dropped as well. S tag. Now with a triple and Sip is about to get shot at the back if he's not quick about it. Does turn around for a quick peek. He's sort of realizing by now. And trying to hold them both in here. Can he get it done? Takes a headshot and another follow-up. Beautiful stuff. We have got Dupree actually in the main entrance as well. So rotations towards inside. Very likely. Three CTs here. Flashbang deployed. Zipex his chance to shine. And he's delivering. He gets both the frags there. The bomb's going to be planted. And it's going to be a clean sweep of the look of things here. No problem whatsoever for Astralis. Well held. Well read. And it's all down to the position of Dupree there. Now it's the ghost signal. Repeated flashbangs to force Kenny S off the angle. But he's still got one kill. Glaive goes down. And they're hesitant. Coming in. And Kenny's going to get more. Now he's got to look towards long. Zip gonna turn the corner, finally puts him down. 
Still a chance here for Astralis, even if they're a man down. Look at Sip coming up from Long. He's looking for more. He's going to get it as well. What a breakthrough. Now a quad kill on him. One tag was the mission. Not quite achieved. They're allowed into the site. And Sipex, he's given him enough room. And that's all he wanted. Three frags, looking for the fourth, and yeah, oh we'll do goodness. so with the USP. It's a massacre from Zipex, he said. Dupree now trying to watch the short wrap, and he will get rid of one man at the very least. Maka is good to trade and equalize this out. That bomb going to go down with seconds for spares. Oh, oh. Hypnix, quick little what? hop in through the murder hole, and Haji's dead before he even knows what hit him. I want to replay that. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's very hard to land those little hops in through the hole. The flash is perfect and Logan's dropped. It's Maka alone again. A 1v3 required. A lot to do. Now, time is ticking away from Astralis. He's able to do some damage on a Zipnix, but not much more. Astralis will take the lead. They move 4-3 up. And it will be B. Yeah, Glaive and Zipnix waiting on the other side. And so as they run into the Moors of the Beast, they'll get oh, churned up yeah. by it. Cool, but the rotations are not out for the CTs, and the Ts are moving quickly. Yeah, they're going to charge headstrong into this. Glaive has a sliver of cover. Sees one go through smoke. That's a great flashbang and a great play by Zipex. Three Aug frags until the op hammers one home. God, tapping away, but Tarek is now hitting shots. A third kill for him. And they're going to catch Zip. He does get a single one there. Save the rifles, you desperately need them, even winning the round. Yeah, Zipnik's goal, even if you can't win, find the kills. Any kill you find, remember, there's only one round left in the half after this. Every frag you get, every elimination on the NRG takes away nades they can use, takes away a kit, perhaps, a smoke that's gonna let you have a bigger opening. And here we go, a little bit of surfing style points as well. Breeze can't hit the shot. It's the perfect read, the perfect nade, out. And this is going to be very difficult for Renegades. Yep, Zipex here, going to go ahead and try to reinforce what is Augstralis finding one. Can he find a second? He does indeed. Looks for a third, but they're a little timid to come out of smoke. And he grabs a third, a fourth. Can he grab the ace? Just finish him off. Do it. You know you want to, Zipex. The problem is that they have to clear Zipex out of this ramp room. And the flash is going to come through, get him really blind. And it's a really awkward moment here as no one has seen him yet. Somehow, some way, he is able to take down this could this could really play out in his favor or it could completely backfire he's gonna take the shot early on that's the bomb turns around sip is there and he's gonna win that battle now he just has to wait he doesn't actually have to win another fight here 13 seconds he does get down by dupree and sip oh no somehow picking up that kill a bit of a battle here is taco gonna be able to take down dupree and it's all on sip now one versus two inside of the bomb site he can steal all of the dreams of mibr right now in this round he's the worst possible person for them to be fighting in this one versus two and he's just hiding inside. They've got him locked in. AWP on one side, M4 on the other. He's going to win the first fight. Go for a second. Oh. Almost gets it. Now the pistol down and sick. Of course he does it. Oh my God. Outrageous. A quad kill to save the round. I mean, so tricky. You could slide up and down, but he goes down. Flaming with just that sidearm able to clear out the first player. However, Dupree will still get one. And there's one above for Navi, 3v2. They've maintained the man advantage, but Astralis, as always, keep this close. Bomb's gonna be planted standard, and both of the remaining Astralis players coming in off the part, blocked off by the smoke once more. Now, this is what cost them when they weren't able to defuse Bomb. Zeus punishes Glaive as he does get the element of surprise, but Zipex manages to get Zeus down. The kit, this time on his back. And he's gonna wait. He's just going to toy with Electronic, who resides up in the apps. There is no smoke to blanket this bomb, and Zipex, he's going to stick this. Not again. Oh my he God. pulled off the stick versus Cloud9, and he does it against Navi as well. This is unbelievable. Magic of Astralis, especially in clutch circumstances, but this one, surely too tall of an order. Need to get someone on that bomb. They got the player about the kid defusing it? No. Oh, okay. Sure, okay. <laughs> Dropping it. Changing has a perfect lineup. He caught the first. Running out of time, running out of chances. Now they've run out of smoke. Tags Kenny. Still defusing. He gets Kenny S. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how it ends.